Okay. So, honey baby was helping me watch. Make sure we could get her in there. And we can. I was just uh, noting that, you know, when I, once I take this tongue off, I've got plenty of space in the front. And there's going to be a side wall to my left, and there's going to be a back wall back here. So that right now, if this wall was here, that motor would be pretty close to the wall right there. And we still have another foot or so in the front. So um, what I will do is uh, next time we have a nice day, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, and I kind of want to get this in, and Honey Babe wanted me to also. But once I finish the sidewalls and all, then I'll, uh, I'll uh, I don't know, just look at it and figure out what I want to do beyond that if anything uh, okay so I am wore out and pretty much exhausted I pushed myself hard today because I knew it was going to rain tomorrow and I didn't want to leave the roof halfway done so that water could run up under the tin so I just kind of kept I just kind of kept oh. <laughs> I just kind of kept so I will say this I'm going to pull this uh plastic up to the edge of that wall and then I'm going to cut little notches in it so that if water comes down in here, uh, I'd like for the water to run under it uh, so I may, you know, push it up in there, kind of turn it up so that if water comes down there, it'll run underneath that out here in front, I'm going to take some of this gravel, this is some leftover gravel I had when I was doing all this work and I left it here really for this you know for this kind of purpose so i'm going to take that gravel and i'm going to cover this plastic here so that it won't be just loose it'll be covered up so you drive over it i did the same thing over there on this side i'm gonna have a little plastic left over i may want to leave a little bit hanging out put my tin down right over it so that the tin kind of pins the plastic down anything that's left over uh i'll find a use for somewhere else uh, this isn't the prettiest in the world considering the fact that I used all that old tin so if any of you are terribly upset about the ugliness of the building because of that uh, you know if you're feeling like well you used a lot of really nice wood but then you made it look crappy by using that old tin I will let you buy brand new tin for me if you so desire if it's uh, like if it's in your heart to have this be a really pretty building and you want to spend what I think a sheet of that stuff 12 feet long is 35 45 bucks or so so yeah and uh, they take quite a few of them to do that it's 20 feet long it's actually 22 and three might be close to 24 with that little lip so yeah y'all want to spend that kind of money just uh you know, send the money out to Cut Worm 59 out in Arkansas with a love note and uh, tell him to send it to me via check money order or uh, or food stamps, <clears throat> whichever, you know, works the most best is for everybody involved. I'm, I'm not proud. I'll take uh, anything that comes along. Set my little scooter mug there. Uh, it's too late to go to the dump today. I was, had that kind of on my list, but... It's not feeling as important as it is feeling important for me to knock off and drink some nice tea for a while, so get a shower and such as that. So, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow, or I may not. I may spend all day tomorrow making videos. Sometimes on a rainy day. Well, I was thinking about it. if it's a rainy day tomorrow, I might go down and see Jim, get a grand tour of his place, and then uh, make videos. And, Wait for the weather to pretty back up. Let's see. Okay, love y'all again. And have a nice day. Talk to you soon. Bye. Appreciate you. Appreciate you now. Howdy, y'all. How y'all doing this morning? Um, we had a ton of rain yesterday uh, and the day before, mostly the day before. Um, and 
gives me a good opportunity to see how things held up out here. When I say a ton of rain, I'm talking torrential downpour, gully washer, pouring rain. It's like, if you've never been in Georgia in a big rainstorm, you probably don't even know what a big rainstorm is. Because when they have one down here, boy, it's a, it's an amazing occurrence. Uh, it's not that amazing because it happens a lot, but I mean, it's just... If, if you can say rain rain can be brutal, it can be really, really brutal if you're down here in a big rainstorm. So I want to see how things held up out here. Uh, and I'm happy to say that the boat is dry. Um, even though the rain just poured like crazy. Uh, and, you know, we have some wetness in here. But I think most of the wetness that's in here was blown in. Uh, by the wind because there's a little wetness on the floor but the boat isn't wet and so my roof didn't leak and uh, it wasn't a problem i don't see any water pockets you know i put this uh, signboard material up in the eaves here and i had some thought what would happen if it leaked through the tin and it got stuck in behind here but i don't see any signs of anything like that happening so what i'm going to be doing today is i'm going to put walls up here and back there once that's done, I'm going to be looking at making a door here. And I've got an interesting challenge on making my door. For one thing, the top lip of my building slants and the ground slants. So both of them slant at about the same angle. Um, if I made a door that swung open, one side of it would be sticking out in the way over here. If I tried to make one that I had to lift up because of that sideways thing, I'd have to drop it down to get something level, and that wouldn't work. It kind of occurred to me, I think a sliding door would be a good idea. It's got a 12-foot section there. I could have two 6-foot doors and have one that slides sort of over here and one that slides out there. Um, still thinking about that. I may or may not do something like that, but it's kind of a thought. But I'll, uh, I'll decide more on that later. Uh, so today I'm just gonna, uh, it's a little chillyish. I'm just gonna get started putting my side pieces up and my top pieces and then we're gonna sort of take a look and see what we got and, uh, go from there. Okay, okay. So we were looking at the weather forecast. Honey baby was this morning and she saw where they were saying it was going to snow. And we laughed because it's 40 degrees, you know. And it's Georgia. Now, I don't know if you can tell or not. Maybe if you look sort of toward the trees, you can see little white specks floating in the air. It's snowing. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Come all the way to Georgia to get away from it. Here it is.
Well, we are getting at least enough snow to give everything kind of that snow globe sort of look. <laughs> so that's pretty quick and dirty, and you may have noticed I'm using a minimal amount of boards. I could have put boards across and then cut all these pieces and run them up and down. They wouldn't have necessarily been any better that way, and it would have been a heck of a lot more work, and it would have used more boards. What I can do now instead is take these boards that I put up here and move them inside and put them inside those four befores and actually they can serve as little shelves and things and they'll still give some rigidity to the structure so i'm gonna go back there and grab me one more pretty good piece of tin and put it right here and then we'll move back to the back side once we get that up we'll go inside and see what we can do about you know things like straightening up the uh, Putting some braces, internal braces, things like that. Should bring y'all in even though it's not much snow it's enough to uh, get y'all wet which i'd rather not do so i'm gonna let you sit in here while i put a few more screws in that and then we'll go back there and look at some more things that we want to do soon today it's kind of nice being in here where it's nice and dry and looking out at the snow Along the back of my bass boat there. Oh, the joy. Oh, the joy. <laughs> Getting really low on screws here. Uh, we've got that many left. One, two, three, four, five, six. I might want to plan a trip into town to get some more screws. However, people are so notoriously bad at driving in the snow in the south. I'm a little hesitant to venture out. <laughs> It just because I know that. <laughs> so, I don't know. I suppose I could go ahead and put up my sideboards. I'm going to run two by 12s across the back. I could go ahead and do that with my big screws. I don't need my little screws till we come to put up more tin. I'll step back and take a look from the outside. We'll wander out into the blizzard here. Uh, you know, it looks like... Um, it looks like an old barn down in Georgia, which is kind of what I had in mind. I'm glad I left this little roof part hanging out because I'm going to want to come out a little farther with the length of it in order to have room for my doors to slide on that uphill side. See, otherwise my doors, if they were on this post here, would be running into those railroad ties. But if I bring this out another foot and a half, then I might have my slide here. That'll be perfect, and it'll give me enough extra room in here. Well, I shouldn't say enough, but it'll give me some more extra room in here. Doesn't ever hurt to ever have, to have an extra foot and a half or so. Uh, so, might have to go to the town office and talk to the permit man, because uh, you're supposed to have a permit. So, if it gets another couple feet longer, he don't really care, but he does like to make a note of it so that if somebody fusses, he can say, well, it's right here. It's in the book. It's okay. We told them we could do it. You know, everybody's trying to cover their own assets in this world. I don't figure that out. So, in, uh, in, with the idea of keeping you guys inside, 
I suppose I could kind of sit you over here on the back of the boat, sort of, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe, sort of. Sort of, maybe. Maybe, sort of. Yeah. And uh, grab a grab a 2 by 12 Or, maybe better, I could bring in this little side shed, right, little tiny shed thing right here, see? You can go and put you on this chair. And, uh, just pick up one of these 2 by 12s and... I actually got a little tiny bit of snow sticking to the steps over there. That's funny. It's snowing and it's sticking. Mercy sakes. Sorry, I'm just wiping the uh, water off your heads in there, folks. There you go. That gets you back to right. Huh. Pretty peaceful here in the snow. <laughs> I pos particularly position that brace there. So that it's lower than that sharp point of the back of the motor that sticks out. Oops. With the idea that uh, I didn't really, I don't really want to be banging it into the back of the barn. But if I did, I'd rather have it rattle some tin than hit up against a hard old board. I will probably make me some shelves on both sides, but not huge ones because I don't want to take up a lot of my good. Uh, room for walking around. One of the things I figured out, if you build a, a, a shed barn like this and you put shelves in it, you can't walk around the sides of it like you could if they weren't there because they take up a lot of space. So, But I'll probably put some kind of recessed in between these four befores because they will add strength uh, to the sides, to the structure. Just like this board that runs across here, that will add some strength. Uh, I'll put another one down low down here, and I'll probably put it at an angle. I'll need to roll this railroad tie out and put one down there. And then I'll attach my tin from that top piece to the bottom. This tin will run up and down. It won't run. Although, yeah, no, let me think about it. Yeah, I think this tin over here is going to run up and down instead of side to side. Uh... Yeah, so that's the plan. All right, that's the plan. Let me uh, let me think about what to do next. Didn't get the angle exactly right on that one, but it fits a little better down in here. I'm gonna go get me another piece. I'm gonna have to go down to the woods to get the next one. But I can do that. And then I'll uh, cut it a little different, I think.
Let's see if we got that one a little closer. <laughs> I think this pattern's a little different than that pattern. It's probably the right pattern for this piece and that piece. I'm going to take a look. We might use this piece here next. So use this one for that. I thought I'd have to go down the woods and get one, but I had one more. So this time I really do have to go. I'm warming up, so I think it's a good time to shed a shirt or two. That generally happens around here. I got all these shirts at a thrift store in Hartwell. It was like four for a dollar. So I loaded up on them. I mean, I figured, what the heck? I need a bunch of shirts I can work with, work in, and not have to get dirty in my a good church, you know. What happened there? It started raining. Again. I'm gonna slide y'all inside here under the shed, under the shelter a little bit. There you go. I got a couple of cuts that might have been a little deeper or shallower than I wanted them to be. Let's see. Let's see how it fit in. Well, that actually looks just about right. Let's put it there. inside and look oh just for fun okay okay I might want to trim off an edge back here and move it around to out yonder because I want to fold this edge around, but I've only got board for about four inches here. Uh, six inches here. So, if I cut it off right about here, I could take this piece and maybe put it on that corner back there. That might be about what I want to do. So I think I can make my doors out of a couple of these. Now I don't really have a couple of these. I got one. But there's two more over at Larry's house that I gave him because we we're going to make shelves out of them. And I think it would make sense to take another one 
I got another one down there that's not as simply made as this. It's got a lot more pieces and angles and brackets. It would be fine for shelves. So I could take that one over to Larry, bring this one back and make a make a door out of it. Get me another one, make another door over here out of the other one. That would work. Do the trick. Hmm. Huh. Uh, so I got a YouTuber coming to see me, and I hadn't heard from him. And it's two o'clock, and I'd like to go over and see Larry. I ain't got no internet, I ain't got no phone, so I can't call anybody. And the phone number I got for the fellow that's coming doesn't seem to work. It may just be that it doesn't work from here, because seem like I can't get no connection today so might be a good time to call it quits go in the house make a few videos see if I can get my internet to work sometimes if I kick it on if I kick it enough times I can get it started and I'm a little tarred so got the back wall done pretty good here uh, I'll grab my shirts and things and uh, take them in the house. You know what I could do with those doors is just have two removable doors that I could pick up set aside and put back in place when I get ready to have them lock this place down. It might be easier than trying to hinge something with that crooked roof there. Oh, the joy. Love challenge. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Let's see. We'll see how Charlie's doing in the house close up all this for now. Oh, the joy. Hey, looky here. What a fabulous day we got going on for us. Ooh, mercy sakes. Great balls of fire. <clears throat> They've been saying on the weather, oh, it's going to rain, it's going to rain, it's going to rain. But you know what? It's not raining. It's above 60, it's close to 70. I'm loving this day. So yesterday we got to the point on my shed here where we were talking about doors. And my thinking on doors here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of woggle your angle around a little bit and I'm gonna put you down, but I'm gonna try to keep talking to you as I walk around and talk about these here doors. <clears throat> I think it on these doors is we don't need doors that open and close really easily because I don't plan to keep this door closed when I'm using the boat or when I'm here even. The only thing I plan to do is to have it so that when I leave, it's pretty hard to steal my boat. And what I have is I have a couple of these racks. These are, uh, these are racks that I got from Bobby. And this one looks like it's about half the size of this door. And the one on the trailer over here looks like it's about half the size of that door. Let me get it for you. We'll talk about it some. I think these two are about the same size, but I'm about to find out for sure. Uh, ah, well that's good. Now see, these two racks both about that big. Now, what I could do is bring them both over so that they kind of meet in the middle. And then you'll notice that on either side, there's a little odd angle. So, my thinking is, Rather than trying to hinge these, because if you hinged that on this straight post, then it'd be hitting the roof out here. And if you hinged it out there on that one, it'd be digging into the ground over here. So if I leave it just like that and I make a little 
triangular section here and I have it where they join in the middle and a little triangular section here and then I put 10 on that I could have it put a couple of handles on there where I could walk up to it pick it up move it around the side and prop it up against the side of the building and when I got ready to leave I could connect it up top and run a bar through the middle of it or a chain across it something that's anchored really well on either side and it would be kind of difficult to get in there without tearing loose whatever I'm going to build to hold it all in place. Uh, so my plan is to build something somewhat substantial to hold it all in place. I got some big heavy chain in there and I'm thinking well, if I put a, a steel pipe in the ground full of concrete over here and one over here and I ran a chain behind there and I ran it, you know, through whatever I'm going to make here and then up top if I ran a piece of metal with some you know, something to set those up onto and uh, had it where I could lock that into place then uh, and make it a little harder to break into there. So that's kind of what I'm going to work on today. And the first thing I'm going to do is just shoot some screws up in the top so that I have these two things hanging there. So I'm, so, uh, I'm going to just do that right now. That gives me a chance to look at it, think about it, make a plan as to where and how I want to go from there. So I will uh, open the door, so to speak grab me some screws and we'll just kind of do that. Let's see what we think. So right away I see the first thing I'm going to want to do is grind off these little notches. Like right there. I see the little notch. So that this rests up snug against that board. Uh, I may want this piece here to be like on the bottom because that might be part of how I decide to lock this thing in. But I'm sort of creating this as I go. So, uh, I think I need to go get my grinder and a little table for things to sit on. So I'll go do that. Okay, so it's roughly put together like that. Now keep in mind that the little hingy things, the little screws on top, they're not going to be permanent. They're just so that I could have it hanging, have a look at it, give some thought. What I might want to do is put a pin, a bolt through this part, like a, uh, a grade 8 bolt that goes all the way through that in the wood with the knot with a locking nut on the back side so if anybody tries to turn that bolt they're gonna uh it's not gonna unscrew now keep in mind i'm aware somebody can break the building down most people that are wanting to steal though i'm thinking they don't want to do a lot of work they just want to grab it and go because the longer they spend at a place the greater the likelihood that they're going to get caught so my job is just to make it as hard as i can for them I'm actually thinking about putting a piece of chain link fence I got from Bobby inside of these walls. So if they decide to come through from the side, 
they're going to have to go through the chain link fence too. I may be saying a little more about my security measures than I should, but oh well. Oh well. So, there we go. Place to start. So the next thing I'm going to do is build some side pieces that come out here and go up this way and back over to here. So it's going to be a crookedy piece that runs like that. I've got this over here to work with, but I've also got another bit down in the woods here that I can... Okay, you might be asking yourself why uh, I'm putting up those shelves. Well, you may notice I'm putting them up right along the gap where the two pieces of tin meet. What that will do is it'll give me a place to put screws out here in the middle. Uh, if you'll notice where this tin is, see how that is? So now I can shoot screws in and that's right along where these two pieces of tin meet so I can stabilize both of them from that point. Might do the same thing down here. The other thing that does is it makes this wall stronger and if somebody wanted to break into the building and they wanted to just smash through the wall, it's going to be a little bit harder to do with these two by sixes in here. Um, so doing a few things there all at the same time. Uh, I may that was like a 10 foot board. I might put some more woodage out to the edge there. I don't want this building to be so full of shelves that you can't walk comfortably down through here, but a little bit of shelfage is good. You know, a place to put some oil cans and some drills and oh, just a few things. A little storage is always good. Uh, over there, I did something kind of similar because see, it would be. I don't know, kind of easy for someone to go up in here and rip a piece of tin off and come through that. And by putting that in the back there, uh, it sort of gives something, like I say, puts a little backbone to that side wall there. Makes it a little harder to get in and out of and gives me the benefit of a little bit of storage. I like that. Okay, let's see what else we're going to do. I might do something pretty similar right here. I don't know if I've got another two by six. I may not have. I may have used them all up that I had. So I might want to hold off on that. Uh, oh, I also did little braces here to tie off the end of this roof. And down here, I uh, put, pulled some gravel out of that high spot up there and just put it along this edge so that, you know, that it won't, uh, wind won't blow it up so much. And I'm going to come over here and Trim, trim this off here or something. I don't know. I haven't quite figured that out. I got some pieces of metal. I couldn't metal that out to, to there if I wanted to. But I don't know yet. That part I'm still thinking about. All right. All right. And I pulled this over here up to the wall there and kind of stapled it up there so it wouldn't be laying down collecting water stuff like that
I like that idea of putting the shelf in there and then running the screws in the middle. I think I'll uh, need to run to town and get me a couple more 2x6s. Yeah, I like to do that on both sides. Uh, ties that wall in really good. So, I'm waiting for a guy that's supposed to be on his way to come see me. And he's a YouTuber. And he was supposed to be here yesterday. And then he said he'd be here this morning. He's still not here. He's been having some mechanical trouble. I don't know how much longer I can wait, though. Because I like to uh, move along, get some things done. Right now, I'm, getting, I'm not getting in. Well, I'm getting some things done. But I'm running out of lumber. So. Come on, buddy. Waiting for you. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Um, and plus, you know, I feel like these shelves help to strengthen these walls because uh, they tie these posts together in a secondary spot. They're tied together up top, and then they're tied together here, and then they're tied together. They're tied to the ground down there. So I put a post over here yesterday, and on that side, I'm putting the shelf. I said post. I put a shelf over there in such a way that where the two pieces of tin join each other I can shoot screws from the back side into the shelves from outside that way I can tie together that piece of tin that runs down that side of the building um, so what I'm gonna do now is go to work on that and uh, and uh, yeah it'll be very much like what I've been doing here uh, except I'll be doing it there does that make sense probably not or maybe it seems redundant or who knows anyway I did hang the ladder up Seemed like a really good place to put the ladder it's out of the way and all. So, let's see, maybe, maybe, the boat's blocking too much of the view from there. Maybe I can just sit y'all kind of up here. Yeah, maybe that'll give you a good, a good spot to watch from. You might not want something quite this big for there. Uh, what should do is something smaller for right there. Okay, so that's about good enough for out here in here next thing you'll do is go out here and shoot some screws in like we were talking about before on that wall oh joy alrighty then Seems to me like it ain't really done unless I do something to make it pretty. Oh, the joy. Okay. 
Okay. That makes it pretty. Those were a gift Eric Polston made for us. And uh, I was telling Honey Baby, I said, I wish I could think of something to do on the back of that building to make it pretty. And it just occurred to me, I took those off the front of the uh, she shed when we were painting it. And I was going to put them on the other side when we repainted it. But we did repaint it and the paint fell off. I don't know how many of y'all remember that or not. And I haven't wanted to paint it until, uh, you know, it warmed up because I don't want the paint to fall off again. But this looks pretty good right here. I like that. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a start. <laughs> I might change something later. I don't know what, but for right now, that's better than a poking the eye with a sharp stick. Thank you again, Eric, for that. I might have another piece of doodad stuff to stick on there too. I've been, Got a piece of a sign I've been thinking about putting up there also. I've got a little cleaning up to do here. I suppose I could get all this metal up and put it back down yonder in the pile for now. Uh, I don't know though, I do want to I do want to make a little triangular piece for right over there. So I might want to just hold this here till I get through with that. And also with these uh, pieces of scrap here I'm thinking I might I think I might make something in here like uh, oh if I put a little board like this kind of I could slide some lumber up over the top of it back there in the back I could take some of this lumber that's on the ground here and get it up out of the way that's a thought and I put my doors in here I'm gonna be working on them but I wanted to kind of get them out of the way for the moment as I figure things out here. Holy joy. Got a guy that said he's going to come by this boat tomorrow. Now, if he don't, I'm going to be putting a new thing on the back of it where the motor goes. That wood piece that goes back here. So, I was thinking about that and I thought, well, I'm not going to mess with that today. Wait and see if he comes and buys it tomorrow. And if he don't, then I might think about that. Holy joy. Yep, 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 yep. Well, I think that was just the touch it needed. So I'll tell you the story about that sign. I was up at Home Sweet Home the other day, and I saw that sign for sale on somebody's stuff. And I thought, wow, I really like that sign. And they weren't selling anything that day. So I kind of put it on my list of things that I would get if I could get it before somebody beat me to it. And... Uh, I went up and it was still there and I bought it. I think I'll put something behind it to flip it out a little. But, see I think that, I think that looks good. And I think it makes the rest of this look kind of good. Now I'm going to get me a little sliver of wood and slip up under the back of it there because I think. Let's take a look at that. I like it better with it straight instead of 
crookedy. I'm gonna take a picture of that and put it on the book of face so Eric and Connie can see that. That's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. I got some other signs. I might put some signs back here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My glasses where I can see that. Yeah. I like it. I like it just fine. Ooh, the joy. <laughs> well there. Well there. Oh, you found this market. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Thanks, Eric and Connie. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Started out being a pretty rainy day today, and I consequently didn't get out here and do very much work. I got started uh, making videos and wound up doing that for a goodly part of the day. Plus, I did a few little things in the house. But I've been giving some thought to this garage door closing closure, and I finally come up with an idea that I think I like. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an open, openable door right here, um, so that, let me change, let me change this point of view thing here, so that as you walk up to the garage, you can walk right in, now that means I'm going to move the edge of the garage out to here, and those doors that I showed you earlier, the racks that I'm going to make into removable doors, they'll go kind of right here to my left, which will bring the garage out here. So I'll come down here and I'll open a door in. I'll come into the garage, and then when I put those closable door racks that I have over there up here, I can fasten them from inside, basically lock them inside. And then all I have to do is build a lock right here strong enough to make it very difficult to break into and I can also lock whatever I put inside of here so even if someone does get in they're gonna have to dismantle the locks here to get anything much bigger than a life jacket or a boat gas tank out of here now that shouldn't be too hard to do uh, I'm gonna be putting in some more posts pouring a little bit more concrete moving extending this out making a small heavy door. What I mean by heavy is I'm going to have some steel and reinforcement in it. And I'll figure out a locking system for it. Oh, and it should be just lovely. I'm oh so much looking forward to it. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Tomorrow I'll probably be out here working on that. But since I was thinking about it today, I thought I'd share it with you today. And then you can, uh, you can think about it with me until we get back to work. Uh, doing more stuff here <laughs> thanks for hanging out with me love y'all hope you have a nice day and a good night i'll talk to you soon bye bye boy it's a beautiful day here today in georgia uh yeah let's talk about <clears throat> let's talk about what comes next over here I think today I ought to build a door, and I, when I say build a door, I'm talking about an entrance door, which means I ought to extend this building out where the roof is, what am I looking at, extend the building out where the roof is hanging down here, um, which might mean going and getting me another couple of four by fours and a, and a, and a two, by, uh, two by six to go across here. And bringing this corner out to about here and uh, yeah I'm thinking I'm thinking a trip into town is a good idea maybe this morning uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put y'all down while I well I like this I like it a lot 
Look at all this shelf space. <gasps> oh, the jewelry. Oh. I like it a lot. So. Yeah. Let's do a little, uh, let's do a little thinking out loud here. <clears throat> Let me get my gloves on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep, that'll work just fine. For real, do you believe? For real. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with town. Pick up some lumber. A little lumber. And uh, come back and, and go from there. Holy oh, joy. So I'm thinking two eight foot four by fours, boom boom, and uh, twelve foot two by six right there, and I may have enough pieces here to rough out my door with. I'm gonna build right over there. Oh no, work out what? Now what's gonna happen here is that if I try to come out of here and turn up that hill, that's gonna be too sharp of a curve. To get to pull this bolt out without getting into this corner but if i come out of here and go down the hill i've got plenty of room to get the bolt out and get it down there and then i can back it up see i've got a little gravel area right here along the property line so i can either swing down there and spin it around and come back up or i can pull it out there and then back it up now if i put the bolt in the garage and put the rambler in here none of that will be an issue because I can pull the rambler. Well, it's easy. It'd be pretty easy to go down there and back it up the hill. So, all kind of options here. And this might actually be where I wind up keeping the rambler instead of the boat. Either way, it's going to be fine as long as I get them inside in a place that I can close up good. That's uh, it's going to be the goal. So, uh, uh, give some thought. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to get some wood. I'm going to need to do that first, and then I'll come back, and then we will. So what I'm going to do is dig another two holes out here. i got some more cement. So I'll dig me two more post holes out here. Um, I'll take this off and put my corner post right in here. And then um, I might wind up having to jack this. I notice this is sagged a little here. But I've got to got a jack. I could put a post under that and jack that up without too much difficulty. And then uh, get another straight board across here. That'll give me this much extra space in the front of here too, which is never, never hurt to have too much extra, extra space. One thing I figured out, so have y'all. <laughs> okay, go for a ride. Wee doggies.
Okay. That just added close to three feet. And give me a place to put a door. <laughs> That's going to be lovely. Oh, the joy. Yep. Oh, the joy. I might need to put on a little cooler clothes now. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, honey baby had a chore she wanted me to work on too. Something about a bird feeder. I'll let y'all sit over here while I go and sort that out. So here's an interesting little tidbit. Um, I was doing a little bit of research on the peaks and the peak family name and where the peaks are from. And the peak name comes from Pike, which comes from Pike Maker. And we're from uh, Welsh slash Scottish Irish slash something else. Maybe passed through some Dutch on the way over. I don't know. But. Uh, according to that, we were pike makers, peak makers, spear makers, sword makers. Um, I don't know about swords, but maybe implements of puncture war implements. So here I am, carrying on the family name. Hmm, oh the joy. My ancestors would be proud. Just saying. Alrighty then, that's basically a door, doors, and I wanted to put something up there, uh, whatever I wind up with in the end, it's going to be stronger than that, but that's stronger than a couple of screws I had it hanging on before, uh, with it up here like this, I don't have to worry about it falling on me, and I'm going to build an entrance here, so I can come in and out of my shop and do stuff. Uh, I need to brace up that board there, I'm thinking with some steel, and uh, I need to make a door here, and with this hanging here, I'm kind of in a good spot to look at it and make my decision about how to build the little end bits, things of that nature. Kicked around the idea about having it where it could flip up, like the doors on my other shed around here do but then I was thinking well I'm going to be backing a boat in there maybe and if it's sticking out here and there's a pole that goes down to the ground that could very easily get in the way of me trying to get in and out of it so I may just leave it and the nice thing about it is because I can I can always change it later if I don't like it uh, so there we go. Something to think about. So I'm going to just put that on the back burner and think about... Um, I've roughly got those racks hung up just so that they'll stand there out of the way. And I was thinking about making me a side door out of wood. And then I remembered I had this rack, and I took a measurement, and it's about the right height for a door. Uh, if I was to cut off about 28 and three quarters of an inch down through here, 
and then take this rail off that side and put it right there then I could uh, I could cover that in tin that'd give me a pretty sturdy little door stronger than wood that I could put up over there probably lighter than wood too so I think that's what I'm gonna do and the other thing I was thinking about doing is uh just grabbing this trailer and pulling it up in front of the garage and using it for a welding table I'd be uh easier and handier than uh than just working off of back here and I hadn't had my I hadn't had my John Deere cranked quite a while too so I'd give me a chance to crank it up bring it around the house move the trailer with it I think I'll do that <clears throat> oh the joy lovely day I put my shorts on and then butch came up and and I got cold after after sitting around. I wasn't cold till I sat around with him for a long time. Well, I guess I won't do that. I've got a little battery tender on that that I thought was working, but it seems like it's not. So I think I need to need to bring the charger back here and charge it up. Oh, the joy! At least I got one, so that'll work. in here. That might not have been my battery was dead. It might have been my connection because when I hooked that thing to it at first it didn't, uh, it didn't hit. So I might need to look at that. Well, let's go for a ride. <laughs> I might should ought to leave that thing run for a while while I uh you know while I let it run and charge the battery in case it was low and I'll check those connections too. Thought I'd come back here and grab my little battery pack thing and take it back around in there and plug it in. I can figure out what I did with my charger. I might have loaned it out. I can't exactly recall. I know I did loan it out, but I don't know if I ever got it back. Hold the door. Hold the door. Let's go get a peanut butter sandwich. 